Good-looking crowd tonight. Good-looking. You, sir. You. You are very handsome. Very handsome. Ma'am. Ma'am, what's your name? Elaine. Elaine, I would like to impregnate you with twins. <laughs> that, came, that came out all wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What I meant was... Hello. All right, so I'm a little awkward uh, when I meet new people, so I do this thing kind of to release the tension. Uh, I cuss a lot. And so it kind of shows you that there's no boundaries and there's really nothing you can step over. So I'm at this coffee shop one night, and I'm like the only guy in there other than the barista. And I go up, uh, and I can't see the larges the barista's kind of put out. And I'm, so I'm like, can you show me the large cup? And he shows me this huge, large cup, and I'm like, wow. That, that's a large motherfucker, isn't it? And he's like, his eyes just huge. You can tell it's been seething in his soul the entire time to just say this. And he's like, fuck yeah, a huge motherfucking cup. It's a large motherfucker. And I, I don't know what to do. And yeah, it's, it's pretty big. And so he's like, no, you, that motherfucker can drown a fucking baby in that shit. That's a large motherfucker. And I don't know at this point to like ask him questions or correct him, like like who uses that as a unit of measurement and how does a baby fit his head into the cup? And just as I'm thinking this, uh, the manager, he steps out of the back, he walks up, looks at the kid, puts his hand on his shoulder and says, did I just hear you call that a large motherfucker? <laughs> and I think I got this kid fired. And so he, he says, yes, and so he says, that is a venti motherfucker. That is a grande son of a bitch. That is a tall cocksucker, and that is a short little shit. So, uh, is it just me, or does Masterpiece Theater uh, seem like really long setups to uh, really disappointing pornography? Where all, you're sure they're having sex off screen, and you're pretty sure they're having sex with their clothes on. It's like, Lady Felicious, man! you with your bodice when you're meeting your old coxswain next door. It's like, I cannot be that body. <laughs> so, yeah, so this one, this one is for uh, all, everybody with siblings. Uh, so this is a true story. It's kind of weird um, that I'm telling you this. Uh, so you know that moment when you're bathing with like your younger siblings and you figure out that it's really weird? Uh, so uh, I was bathing with my little sister and I was like, maybe we should stop doing this. She looks up at me, she's like, why? It's like, well, I have, a, I have a penis, and you have a vagina. And she looks up, her eyes get really big, and she just says, so? I'm like, well, you're 17, and I'm 22, and this is a shower. And she's like, yeah, this is a little bit weird. Let's go watch the Masterpiece Theater. And I'm like, yes. You guys like impersonations? Yeah? yeah? All right, so, so this, is, this is my impersonation of my mother when she caught me and my little sister in the shower. <laughs> it goes on from there. Um, so I've been watching a lot of uh, stand-up comedy, which kind of inspired me, and I'm trying to find out a through line that all the comics touch on, and all the comics are fucking this chick, I'm fucking this chick, I'm fucking this chick, and I'm like, wow, this chick gets around. How do they all know this chick? I would like to meet this chick. My comedy would be awesome. And so, I, but I haven't met this chick, and so uh, I wrote an entire act, uh, about an hour's worth of material, and I'm trying it out with my wife, and uh, she doesn't think it's funny, so it's... I'm like, I'm fucking this chick, I'm fucking this chick, and you gotta really hammer it home, and it's just not working. So the, at the end of the entire hour, uh, she just looks at me and she says, Jake, that wasn't funny. You should write what you know. So... <laughs> so, I wrote this next joke. So, are there any ma married men in the audience? Married men? Yeah, yeah, yeah married men! Ma married guys, it is really hard dating, isn't it? Really hard dating. She's always like looking at your phone records and smelling your t-shirts, but you know, she's never gonna know about us. <laughs> That's my 